It was a local landmark long before it became one of the most photographed Route 66 icons. Built at the turn of the century by a settler from Kansas who thought a round barn might stand up better to Oklahoma twisters, its upstairs hayloft was eventually emptied to accommodate barn dances, events that ringed the building with bumper-to-bumper -bumper wagons and buggies. Time and weather eventually got the old gal down. Travelers on Route 66 watched the round barn gradually become a skeleton of her former self until one day back in the late 80s, a group of preservationists, retirees who became known as the Over the Hill Gang, started raising money and rebuilding. Four days later, guess what? The roof fell in. And, oh my, I was talking to Luke Robinson, the man that, that knew how to restore the barn. I said, Luke, I guess we might as well just take a bulldozer to it and bulldoze it down. He said, no, sir, we can still take. The cave-in was a heartbreaking moment for fans of the round barn, but it also was an incredibly close call. It was twisted real bad. And when it, uh, Luke Robinson, the man that uh, kind of brace up boards here and there, and he run out of lumber and he went in the Edmund to get some more lumber, and when he got back, the top caved in. Luke Robinson was right. The barn could be rebuilt, and it was. Lovingly restored to provide a place for another generation of barn dancers and other revelers up in the loft, and a gift shop and history museum in the round downstairs. Their work was awarded a National Preservation Award and has made the round barn much more than a photo op. People come from all over the world, all over the United States, every town in Oklahoma, and uh, so many of them have told me, Mr. Sam, this is the greatest place to stop. Known here as Mr. Sam, this 88-year-old dynamo's duties include squiring visitors through the museum, a tour that includes a little homespun humor from Sam's days in a country home where his mother got hot water from a cauldron outside. Hey, mother, why do you have to run? Well, very sheepishly, she said, well, son, several years ago, I told the neighbor lady down the road that I had running hot water in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, a fair bit of prairie history. Daddy would heat the water, and, and then she, uh, mother would put it in this first tub right here, and she would wash your clothes. Uh -huh. And then it would, um, the wrench water over there. Now, she would do this every Monday, whether it was snowing, raining, or sleeting, whatever. Monday always was wash day. But it, it, it was in England as well. Monday <laughs> was always wash day. <laughs> I mean, that's extraordinary.